Out of here. Yeah, loud and clear on me. Loud and clear. Actually, it feels pretty good out here. Yeah, it does. Way better than yesterday. This thing was at 44. Woo! So, God, I think dang. it was, yeah, I think it was 110 on the ramp. Clear on the right. Clear on the right. Clear left. That tail's coming. Right. They're there. They're doing a 180. Okay. So, let them go through. And Hubert driving helicopter 23 Mike off. We'll be waiting here on the pad for you guys to land and then we'll call you out on 16. Hubert. You go ahead, guys. Okay. All right, we're departing uh, 16. Hubert driving. Clear the left. Let's see the traffic. Helicopter 126 traffic is uh, make a climbing left turn on the right downwind 16 visual with the departing track. Today we're going to be spending a good amount of time on something called running landings. This is where, as a helicopter with skids, you land on a runway in a similar fashion to an airplane and slide down the runway instead of coming into a hover. Now, why would you do something like this? Well, it might be necessary in the event of an equipment failure, which is what my instructor will simulate later in the flight, or there may be a situation where you just don't have the power available or the ability to come into a hover even with ground effect. Altitude, heat, and humidity could play a big role in this, or you could have a failed tail rotor or stuck pedal that would prevent you from coming to a stop in a hover. Now, if you look at the front left skid here, you can probably see near the front what we call a skid shoe. What this is, is a hardened piece of metal that contacts the ground instead of your skids, and it's designed to wear out and be easily replaced instead of wearing down your entire skid. I have controls. I have all three. I have all three controls. New Bromples Tower, helicopter 23 Mike Golf is five miles to the south at 1,300 with Golf. Info. Helicopter 23 Mike Golf, Roger, report. Left down one midfield for runway 17 for a full stop. Uh, Nego, sir, we'd like to uh, do a little pattern work at 3 Mike Golf. In disregard to left in and uh, report right traffic midfield down one for runway 17. Report uh, right down one for 17, helicopter 3 Mike Golf. Okay, so now, um, as you raise collective, but, uh, where you're at right now, right, you're starting to get in a, a droop in RPM, so you're starting to get a left kick. Okay. Okay, roll on, lower, slide up, slide with, there we go. Okay, and as you raise back up to 20, it starts happening again with the kicks. So you're having a magneto problem, possibly a failure. Okay. Starting to give out on you. So. We know that when we raise above, let's say, 20 inches, we're starting to get a decrease in RPMs because we have less supplied power. We don't have as many uh, sparks to our engine, right? We don't have our spark plugs aren't igniting correctly. Clear left. All right. So we're going to keep it below 20 inches so that those RPMs don't decrease. Okay. There we go. You're still getting your kicks, but they're not that ex exacerbated. And I want you to do a running landing because you know for a fact that if you raise above 20, your RPMs are going to drop, and then you're going to fall through your hover. Okay. Yeah, tower copter 3 Mike Golf uh, on a right down one for 17. 3 Mike Golf on 17, clear for the option. Put the option 17, copter 3 Mike Golf. Make this a nice shallow one. I would probably descend a little bit more. Okay. And just start your turn now, and then square up when you get more towards the end of the runway. Okay. Keep that speed up. Get her centered, that's one of the most important okay. things. And remember, right before you touch down, just give a little bump forward so that those front skids touch first. Do a running takeoff for okay. me. Just hold it. I want okay. you to Enjoy really, I want you to run this. Roma Tower, Information Hotel is current. Runway 1, tree is deactive. Okay, 3, Mike Goff, I'm going to keep you over on 1, 7. 
Roger, we'll stay on 173, Michael. Good. I want you to just hold this for a good, like, three or four of these lines. Okay. Get your speed up. Raise that clutch up. Okay. Get a little bit more forward side. Looks good. And once you start getting to about, you know, 30, 30 knots, and it's feeling, or when it just comes up on its own like that, then you're solid. That's going to be, you know, a high DA, high, hot, heavy, humid takeoff possibility, right? Three, my golf main west, or Christ, south of runway one, uh, runway one three at all times, base being the display threshold, clear for the option runway one seven. Clear for the option one seven, remain uh, south of one three at all times. So helicopter three, my golf. That was really good. Cool. Maybe even a little slower um, on touchdown. Okay. Try, try this next one to get get it down in like one line. Okay. So like be a, maybe let's go like 20 to 30. Okay. And and then lower that collective a little faster. All right. What, normal takeoff or running? Uh, normal. Okay. Lights out. RPM's good. One, two, three in the green. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta important. be more aggressive if I'm yeah. lowering it quicker. It, yeah, and and you notice too, what I, um, you're kind of giving that forward cyclic maybe about three feet off the ground. Okay. Get yourself about a foot, and then just, you know, get yourself into the in ground effect. Fly that for a, uh, that foot margin there for maybe two of these lines. Get yourself situated, then go down. Okay. There's no rush on these. That airline four is two miles in for airline ramp. Drive forward, direct the ramp, series request, use caution, land with pots on risk. Winds now are zero nine zero six. Here, left forward, thank you. So he was two to the north, so he's going to be pretty close, if you got him to say. Okay. He's landing on that helipad right next to the guys over there. That's badass. EP-145. Yeah. Tower copter through my golf. Midfield, right down one for a one seven. We got three mic golf on one one seven clear for the option. Clear for the option one seven to cover three mic golf. Get yourself into that one foot there for just okay. a little bit. A little bit more shallow, okay. not so steep. So my instructor got a little sneaky on this one. I thought I was going to be doing another straight in auto rotation and he gave me a surprise engine failure earlier than I would have entered an auto to get me to react to it. Ever since we started doing commercial training, he told me that he was going to occasionally spring engine failures on me and wanted me in the auto by the time he was done saying engine failure three times. 
This is because a real engine failure can happen anywhere at any time, not just when you're perfectly lined up with a runway at the optimum height and speed for a straight and auto rotation. I personally love the challenge, and I think this type of hard training will make me a better and safer commercial pilot in the long run. Uh, tower helicopter 3 Mike Golf reporting midfield right down, one for 1-7. Welcome to Treat Mike Golf, runway 17, clear for the option. There will be a Texan operating on runway 13, so uh, again, remain south of runway 13. Alright, clear for the option 17, we'll remain uh, south of 13, 3 Mike Golf. Alright, Ian, engine failure, engine failure, engine failure. Order speed, a little bit more, there we go. Might have to flare in the turn, that's fine. Hold, hold it, okay. hold it. Now, flare, roll throttle on. So, um, <clears throat> I know that was a surprise, uh -huh. um, and we haven't done the engine failures in a while. If you hear me say engine failure, engine failure, engine failure, I want that collective down okay. before that third engine failure. We're going to do that one more time, and then this next time, if it's not down, I'm going to cut your throttle, and we're going to have a hard kick to the left. Okay. Those RPMs are going to go down. I need you to throw that collective through the floor. All right. Clear left. Clear right. Engine failure. Engine failure. Engine failure. That's what I'm looking for. Right. So we're going to flare in the turn on this one. Okay. RPMs, airspeed's perfect. Zero three midfield, that one. Yeah, airspeed. So zero three, runway one tree, clear for the option. Where? There's Roll a Robinson helicopter on. operating on runway one seventy. It's going to remain well clear of the yeah, runway dude. at all times. That's good. That good was very clear. Clear the option one three. Most of the time when we're coming back in at the end of a flight, we'll do a straight in or 180 degree auto rotation into the field. In my opinion, it's one of those things that you can never really do enough. Plus, they're a whole lot of fun once you get the hang of them. All right, nearing auto. Three, two, one. Clear collective right pedal. Check up. Go fast. Race collective as you level out. Lower collective. Lower it a little bit more. We, go. we want those in the green. There we go. Good. Go collective. Good. Now we build. Flare. Hold it. Hold it. Flare. 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 Roll throttle on. Okay. <laughs> 